Am I allowed to say that? Am I going to catch a bunch of shit from all the angry fatties? Yeah, no? We want, you want to cut it out? All right, yeah. We'll get it in editing. Cool, cool. CL looks different. That's good, right? That's like that PC. Well, you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. But I'm not saying it, so people won't get mad. Yeah. You want me to... It's good? We got a good take? All right, cool. Good looking out, man. Thank you. On today's episode of K-Pop Rants. What's up, everybody? Big Will, K-Pop for life, coming back at you. And before you get your panties in a wad, it's just a joke, so chill out. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of CL. Um, I hated her American debut. All the American stuff she did, wow. Awful. Lifted was awful. More more Western sounding garbage. But aside from that, I actually really like Tello Bitches. I was a 21 fan from back in the day when I first started watching K-pop in 2012. Um, you know, they were one of the first groups that got us into K-pop. They're almost always an introductory band into K-pop. You know what I mean? Almost everybody, you know, before they broke up, who was into K-pop from like 2016 back, one of the groups that got you into it was always 21. They're just that group. Um, but today we're going to be talking about CL and her leaving YG. Uh, I don't, I'm not really going to talk about the weight gain. It was, I don't really care. Uh, she's not really a bias and I'm fat and I don't think she's fat. I mean, she, I know that CL struggles with, uh, I forgot what it is, but basically she's like terrified of crowds and groups of people. And sometimes she locks herself in a room. Um, she sort of yo-yos up and down like Ailey does with her weight, but I mean, both of them are still pretty to me. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I come from a Western mindset and you don't have to be like stick skinny to be attractive. But I understand why Koreans freak out about it because, you know, that very like this is our beauty standard box. If you don't fit in it, you're ugly. Um, so I get where they're coming from from that. That's just cultural for me. I don't care. It's not really important. It's not what I'm talking about here. Um, I was more wanted to talk about people are saying that CL you know, she left YG, or didn't she leave YG? She went to America, was it 2014 or some other time? She met up with some, I can't remember his name, American producer, the guy who does Ariana Grande and Bieber. Um, so you already know what kind of music you're going to get. Um, and in doing so, you know, she came out with Lifted. She tried, you know, to, to really break into the American market and it just didn't work out. And it's one thing I'll never understand I don't understand why there aren't more Asians in pop culture in America. Unless they're a martial artist, they just can't seem to break into the pop culture. And as somebody who like loves Asian culture and Asian people in general, I don't understand it. Um, I, I don't, I don't get it, but whatever. That's the West. <laughs> um, so CL has tried. And then she went back to YG and did the goodbye song, which was obviously a goodbye to the fans. Um, and there's a lot of people saying that, oh, well, sh you know, nobody else can handle CL. Nobody else would know how to properly, um, you know, handle her career and, and who she is and as an artist and this and that. Like, these are probably the same dumbass people that, like, years ago were saying, oh, he hates, YG hates 21 and he hates girl groups and he doesn't want them to succeed and blah, 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 blah. Like, I think that there's so much shit that probably happens behind the scenes that nobody will ever know. Um, so many arguments, disagreements. I mean, I would really like to know what their actual relationship is and how close they actually are. Um, or if it's just like he's the boss and it's more like the producers interact more directly with, with her. I don't know, but I think that CL could absolutely go literally to any record label and be a splash hit again because she has a niche, right? And she has a huge fandom that follows her and she just has that certain je ne sais quoi like she's got that certain personality that x factor when she's on a stage or when she's on camera where you're just drawn to her and you want to know what she's going to do next so i don't i think it's stupid for anybody to say that that if she's not at yg she can't succeed because nobody nobody else would know how to come on they change concepts all the time they could do anything she would go she'd go to jyp and she could kill it she'd go to sm and kill it She'd go to, you know, freaking Happy Face Entertainment or some other smaller record label. And she'd probably, you know, blow them up and, and make them lots of money. Um, so I don't understand 
why people say it other than the fact that they say it in the same vein that they're giving her shit for gaining weight and it's like well so you're basically just shit posting at this point you're not actually you know making legitimate commentary you just you're saying oh she's fat and because of my mindset if she's fat then she can never be famous because fat people can't be famous uh that's kind of where i kind of get that they're going it's just stupid teenagers being stupid and i don't I don't know. It's not really a big deal. I just thought it was interesting because CL is, you know, she's K-pop royalty at this point. And I wanted to talk about it because I want to see her actually come back. I think that her attempting to break into the American market is what destroyed her career and left it in the shambles that it's in now. Because, I mean, her they were, they were flying pretty damn high. Everything they dropped was a hit. Everything was great. And I know that they had stuff behind the scenes with Bomb and... Uh, and, and all the issues there but aside from that as a group in terms of being a money-making product they were making money and then she wants to go over to america to you know break into that market and i said it years ago i said i said it before she ever dropped lifted i said it's not gonna work but as soon as she came over I, I told big paul i'm like dude this isn't gonna work and then the lifted song came out and halfway through i turned it off like oh my gosh more of this this sound that I left American music for and now some of my favorite k-pop artists are doing it making me cringe uh, yeah but I'm glad she's back I think that you know you could easily swing this right you're gonna get the sympathy from people now because she's back in Korea she has to cut the weight get back to the normal size and then have a comeback album and that shit will blow up because people are hungry for it people want good CL back they want that good sound that she gives out, that unique sound, that that swag that she has back. And I do too. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like what you see and you want to see more, click one of the two links that's going to pop up. And as always, keep on popping, K-poppers. Remember, it's not a trend. It's a lifestyle. Deuces.